Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and today I have a very important cookbook to show you. This was sent to us as a gift from Kyle Books, which is an imprint of Octopus Books. It's Need Peace, Recipes from the World's Best Bakers in Support of Ukraine by Andrew Green. So we really appreciate the publisher sending us a copy so we could check it out, because we really think so often of the people in Ukraine and the suffering and we're so glad to see cookbooks and the cook for Ukraine and bake for Ukraine movements over on Instagram check out those hashtags so we have not cooked or baked anything out of this book because we just got it in the mail yesterday very excited to see it it came out in late 2022 it has the Ukrainian colors of course and I think I'm probably going to need glasses for this one pardon me Baking connects good people and lets them understand each other no matter what language they speak. Anna Makievska, The Bakehouse in Kiev. So here's our table of contents. Bread, savory bakes, sweet dough, cakes, cookies, biscuits, tarts, and pies. And she's holding up a cookie to her face. That's Anna Miskievska, The Bakehouse, Kiev. She writes, it is challenging to bake in a war zone. It is hard to find and deliver good ingredients, and the logistics of team members has been challenging as not all the members of our team are able to come and work. And women face a different challenge. Many of us, especially those who have small children, left Kyiv and moved to Western Ukraine or abroad, so we did not have to hear the sirens or go to bomb shelters with babies and toddlers tens of times a day. So many chefs, bakers, and office staff, primarily women, left the country, and no one knows when we will all come back. I'm gonna to try to get through this without crying. So here's the first chapter, bread, sourdough starter and leaven, simple sourdough, seeds for solidarity porridge, pretzels, lazy wholemeal loaf, Swidden rye sourdough, Danish, Danish deluxe superseded rye, everything sourdough bagels, rosemary focaccia. So here's the first recipe, sourdough starter and leaven, simple sourdough, etc. So we're just going to kind of page through because I want you to see what the inside of the book looks like. We're not going to spend a lot of time going through page by page, but I wanted you to see the rye and fennel sourdough. That looks so good. And then they have the chef's name that created the recipe and wrote it for us at the top and how much it makes. For example, Kate Martin from Hilston Bakery. So these are bakers from all over the world, not just Ukraine. And this is English Muffins by Campbell McFarlane, and it makes 12. Let's skip ahead. Here's White Potato Sourdough by Daisy Terry from the Dusty Knuckle Bakery. Swidden Rye Sourdough. I hope I said that right. That is by Anka Tink from Il Brod, which I think is, yeah, Scandinavian Bakery. Ooh, look at this beautiful 100% rice sourdough. So this is going to be a very useful cookbook, Savory Bakes. Let's check out some of these. Oh, how good does that look? Cheese and Miso Rolls by Lila Tang. Makes 10 of them. How about Sweet Doughs? Creme Diplomat Filled Donuts. Layla's Cocoa Hot Cross Buns. Cardamom Bonds, <laughs> Cardi B. <laughs> that is from Lottie Rogers from Flory or Fiori Bakery. I should have put my glasses on. I grabbed them and I didn't wear them yet. This is Helen Goes Blood Orange Filo and Custard Cake. Be sure to look up all of these bakers on Instagram. Most of them have profiles and they have fascinating, it's so fun to watch them. I love step-by-step -step photos. Here is a gluten-free lemon and almond cake. Very excited to see some gluten-free options in here. Ginger and rye loaf cake. Oh, what is this? Let's go backwards and look. That is coffee, cardamom, and walnut cake from Sarit Packer and Itamar Srulovich Honey & Co., some of my favorite cookbook authors. Ricotta olive oil and lemon cake by Anna Higgum, The River Cafe. Peanut butter and cardamom cookies. Phil King from Popham's. 
And that basically is your overview of Need Peace, edited by Andrew Green. I'm so glad that they put this together in, for, for the benefit of Ukraine. And it's going to be tough to read the introduction where they're talking about the war. Thank you so much for watching this cookbook preview. You can see more of them at Cookbook Divas on Instagram and Facebook. We're on Pinterest, we're on YouTube, and we're on Amazon Live. Bye.